Have you ever heard of the prayer of Jabez? The prayer of Jabez comes out of the Bible and it's uh, out of Chronicles, as a matter of fact. You can check it out, Google it on, uh, on the internet and find out more information. But I was introduced, this is one of the most beautiful prayers I was introduced to, oh my Lord, probably 12, 14 years ago, when someone gave me a copy of the book, The Prayer of Jabez by Bruce Wilkinson. And I, I absolutely love the book and he, he's written so many wonderful books, so you might want to check it out. But the prayer of Jabez is so powerful. I've been saying it every day now for probably 14 years, 12 to 14 years. And I find it just amazing. The prayer of Jabez goes like this. Lord, bless me indeed and enlarge my territories. May your hand always be with me. Protect me from evil and may I not cause pain. That's it. It's this tiny little prayer that to me encompasses all of our existence, all of life in every way possible. You know, like, let, let's start with the first one, the prayer of Jabez. Lord, bless me indeed. Now, according to Bruce, as he did, um, you know, a breakdown of the, the language that he's used back in the time when Chronicles was written, that Lord, bless me indeed basically means, Lord, bless me in the most incredible way possible. Bless me with the most amazing blessings. And now, in our world, when we think of blessings, we often think of money and cars and all that kind of stuff. But it's not just that. Of course, it is materialistic things. Yes, bless me that. But bless me, Lord. Bless me indeed in the wildest ways possible. And the way I take that is bless me with inner peace. Bless me with compassion. Bless me with love. Bless me with understanding. Bless me with wisdom. Oh, my Lord, wisdom. Not just knowledge, but knowledge and action of that knowledge. You know, that's what this first line, bless me indeed. And then it also means bless me in my career and bless me in, in a great relationship and bless me with my family. But bless me indeed, Lord is the first line, and expand my territories or enlarge my territories. What that says to me is, you know, allow my territories to be so big, allow me to touch millions of people, allow my territories to grow so large that the word of God flows through me in my role as an all-faith minister into as many people as possible so that they can experience God themselves. You know, that's what it means to me. So, Lord, bless me indeed and enlarge my territories. Now, some people might say, you know, enlarge my business, my territories and business. And, you know, I have one location now, Lord, you know, uh, bless me indeed and enlarge me to 100 stores or enlarge me to managing 20 people instead of one or two or, uh, you know, whatever it might be. Enlarge your territory can be whatever you mean it to be. For me, it's about reaching out and touching more people with love. That's what it means to me in my work. I absolutely love it. So bless me indeed, enlarge my territory. May your hand always be with me. Lord, whatever I do, please allow your hand to be right on my shoulder guiding me. Bless me indeed, enlarge my territory. May your hand always be with me. Protect me from evil. It's like, protect me from temptation, God, to get off the path of doing the right thing. You know, Protect me from the temptation of, 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 of bursting out with anger or, or protect me from temptation of doing something that I'm going to regret, saying something, doing something, whatever it might be. You know, And then may I not cause pain. I love that very last line. And Lord, as I go through this life, Please, please, please make sure that I enrich people's lives, that I lift people's lives up, and I don't cause pain. I just love this prayer. I hope that you've enjoyed this short little video on it. And please check out Bruce Wilkinson's books, The Prayer of Jabez. He's got several of them. And think about saying this prayer every day. Lord, bless me indeed and enlarge my territories. May your hand always be with me. Protect me from evil, and may I not cause pain. I wish that prayer for every person who watches this. And if you think that this can, this little video on the prayer of Jabez can help someone, please forward it on. And if I can help you in any way, please visit us at talkdavid.com. Send me an email, make a, give me a phone call, and I look forward to helping you in any and all ways possible. Until then, have the most blessed day. Bye-bye now.